everybody. Now I wanted to talk about a concept that I found really interesting and that there really wasn't a lot that I found on it except for a lot of like new age people talking about it, which I'll insert some clips here for you guys to see some testimonials and things that I found that was really interesting and things that were just said a little bit much better than I think I could describe it because this is not really my expertise. It's just something that I found interesting. Um, ear ringing or the tones that we're hearing in our ears, in our head, um, that are coming more frequently. They might be more loud than they used to be and we're wondering why, why is this happening? The good news is that there is an answer and the answer is that this is all happening as a result of our ascension process or the literal process of our shift and change to the new consciousness, the new awareness and the new dimension that we're being called into. Now, ear ringing. And I'm not talking about ear ringing from damage to your ear or from, you know, listening to loud music or working around equipment that's really loud. Take that all out of the equation. We're talking about just abnormally just sitting there reading a book. I always go to that scenario, but I just think, you know, relaxation. You're sitting there watching a movie. You're, wa you're reading a book. You're ready to go to bed. You're in a relaxation state. Or even you could be cooking a meal. Just doing something. Just la da da going about your way. And you hear a ringing sense, you hear a ringing sound in your ear. Now I know there's the ringing that people think of when it's like, oh, somebody's talking about me, so I got a ringing in my ear. You know, that's that old saying people would think. But actually, the only thing I've always thought of, and this is a different type of ringing too, it's not the ringing like you think where it's kind of like a muffled, like, kind of like a deafness ear ringing, if you know what I mean, that you'll get when you think, oh, there's somebody to be talking about me because my ears are ringing. But I'm talking about the type where you get this very odd ringing, which is definitely a tone that's abnormal for what they would normally say is that it's in the third dimension. We're in a third dimension and it's a fourth dimensional vibrational tone. I sound very hooky right now, but this is just what I'm kind of going off of for information that I found. I always just thought that straight up, you hear a ringing, it's a ghost. There's a ghost nearby. There's a ghostly presence nearby and that you just should be aware of it. And that's all. I didn't think anything further. I didn't think of it being negative, what it may be, or anything specific. I just thought that if you hear a ringing, that, that means hmm, there's, there's a presence nearby. That's interesting. You could be out there investigating. You could be at home. Something could be happening. You may feel a little weird, but if you hear that ringing, there's definitely a presence nearby you. But there's more to it that I never thought of before. Now, the ringing in the ear is actually, to what uh, some people think, is actually a shift happening. And this is where they have to get into the ascension symptoms, which you can look at up further if you'd like to. It's quite out there, so it's a little bit further out of my realm of my understanding or my expertise. But it's that there's a shifting happening, and you're feeling that shift. There's also another belief that it's, or not just another belief, but that there's another reason too, that it may be a ringing happening because it's coming from your higher self or your spirit guide. But ultimately, it's not just that there's a ghostly presence there, but it's a ghostly presence that's trying to communicate with you. So that's something to be very aware of. It's trying to communicate with you. And it's very funny that while I'm talking about this, my ring light is flickering okay, this things, these things happen. Who knows? I don't have a ringing in my ears, so I don't know if there's a presence near me, but quite possibly could. Now, some people also believe that when you get this ring in your ears, that it's a type of download, that you're getting information downloaded into you. I don't know quite how that works, but I guess spiritually, it's like making you go up higher um, within your higher self or ascend ascension and all that. But it's there to give you a message to help you learn or be a higher self, be more aware of something and have more knowledge of something. I'm explaining it very badly, but this is basically what I was learning about, is that basically it's downloading information into you and it's coming from a higher source. It's coming from a higher vibrational being. Some people believe it comes from a lower vibrational being. Now, a higher vibrational being is supposedly a higher self, a, gar a, a spirit guide, an angel, 
a good spirit. Low vibrational spirits are negative spirits and demonic spirits. If you didn't know what the vibrational spiritual thing meant, that's what it means. Now there is a testimonial here where a man believes that his ringing in his ears was due to ET communication, that it was an alien, not coming from a spiritual sense it, like I usually get into, like the ghosts and stuff, but something that I don't really think of too much, but I've been having my eyes opened a little bit more, watching and learning a little bit more about the alien type of uh, phenomenon out there. And it's gotten a little freaky. Now, this is a very good testimonial. I hope you enjoy it. Here, I'll insert the question. People always try to say everything has something to do with aliens. Well, I can only speak from my personal experiences. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a story because I don't mind putting myself out there like that because I know the truth. Uh, when I was a youngster, I was actually 16 years old. And I used to always hear ringing in my ears. I always would hear ringing in my ears. And I didn't know what it was for. And one day, I heard really, I mean, I had a really loud ringing in my ears. I mean, loud, like to the point where it was like, I, mean, I actually got a headache from it. Like, I thought I was going, my head was going to explode. And I went to sleep, you know what I'm saying, pretty early that day. And um, my mom put me to sleep. Basically, was like, just go ahead and go to sleep or whatever. Maybe wake up the next day and hopefully you'll be all right. So I went to sleep. And I did wake up the next day and I was all right. But when I went to sleep, I had an experience. I had an experience. And um, this was an experience. It might appear as though it was a dream because I was asleep. But I believe that uh, the beings that came abducted me out of my sleep for a reason. I think they abducted me out of my sleep for a reason because I believe that they come and abduct you in your sleep so that you won't struggle or so that you won't fight. It's kind of like if you were trying to go get a vicious animal or a dog or something. When you want to go get that dog, put the dog to sleep first before you get him. Well, that's exactly um, the way I think ETs do it or whatever. So I had an encounter with some greys at the age of 16 years old. And the ringing was hard, hard. As soon as I went to sleep, they showed up instantly. They showed up instantly and I went on their craft. Um, I remember seeing the speaker in the craft or whatever. And I remember speaking to the captain of the ship or whatever. And the captain of the ship was speaking through the speaker to me. Um, it was communicating to me and it was communicating Bible verses to me. The, whoever this captain was or whoever this entity was, was communicating Bible, Bible verses to me through the loudspeaker. And I remember after the Bible verses were communicated, I was stripped. I was laid on the table um, naked and I remember them poking me in my feet, my hands. They put piercings in me and I remember this clear as day, right? So uh, they were talking to each other. I really don't know what they were saying um, in some type of strange type of language that sounded like a hum, a humming type of language. I really don't know what they were saying and they put me back into my bed and when I woke up the next morning, I remember the markings. I remember them putting the piercings and I looked at my hands. I look at my hands and I see the markings. I look at my feet. I see the markings. They're actually still there. They're light, but they're still there. They're like light, almost like light little pimples almost like on my hand, like a little dot. But it's like light enough to see. And it wasn't there before I went to sleep. So I show my mom and my mom sees it and she's like, wow. I mean, and they weren't really surprised because, I mean, I, I've always had paranormal experiences ever since I was a child. I mean, I've always had paranormal experiences. And I know that people that have paranormal, par paranormal experiences are people that, really are like I'm not going to say they're special but it's that they're in tune with the other side and with that other dimension now, I don't know what you guys think of that I mean do you believe it do you think that this could actually happen to somebody do you believe this wasn't real experience he had or maybe a dream it's very very odd and it definitely warrants like thought to think of maybe it being maybe something very real I don't know it's something that I just felt would be worth sharing with you. Now, there's another thing that somebody warns of is that if you get howling in your ears, it's the hellhounds and that you need to run. But no, you don't need to run. You need to pray. You need to pray to Archangel Michael and you need to pray to God and you need to figure out why is it. Like I said in my last video about the fact that some um, demons attach to you, these are hellhounds that are chasing you. They are not just attacking you, they are on the hunt for you. And it's very terrifying to think of. Now, here is very, very popular man who goes, up, goes by the name Vigilant Christian. 
I've been a fan of his for a while. Sometimes his stuff is kind of whew, way out there. And I don't always agree. Like everybody does. You, you may agree with some things. You may not agree with everything. But I think that he comes from a standpoint where he's an ex-New Ager. That he knows about it firsthand. And he's coming now to coming from that now to Christianity. So I think he can give you guys a little bit of enlightenment on looking at it from a standpoint from somebody who knows it really well, but now has decided to leave it and the reasons why. Um, so in the process of going through this ascension, uh, there are a common symptoms that happen to the practitioner or person who opens themselves up to this, uh, I will call it what it is, a demonic spiritual experience. So as you open yourself up, you start to have these physical symptoms. Now for me, um, it was uh, really the dark night of the soul. Um, if you look in occultic and New Age writings, you're commonly going to find this uh, theme and concept uh, of the dark night of the soul and that's truly what I went through it was absolute torture it was torment it was absolute spiritual torment I spent years and years being tormented uh, emotionally psychologically and physically um, by this experience and the whole time convincing myself that this is a good experience that this is something I want to be putting myself through when in fact the ultimate truth is that you're be you're getting uh, spiritually attacked okay and you can go and research the list of uh, these symptoms for yourself and if you're experiencing them yourselves you know what I'm talking about it's not pleasant at all and you got other people who have went and they've gotten more accustomed to the demonic attack and more tolerant to it so they'll come and tell you oh no 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 it gets better keep going you'll evolve better and bigger and and you're gonna get to that level of consciousness and godhood just keep pushing forward okay let me tell you and be the first to tell you stop right now those signs and symptoms are a sign from your body your spirit your emotional system the very depths of your being trying to say, wake you up stop you are you are following spiritual demons okay the Bible says that even Satan can masquerade as an angel of light and that's what he does he operates in the spiritual dimension and he lies a lot of these ascension uh, symptoms and experiences come from having made contact with the ascended master um, beings from the Pallades, these angels, these uh, fairies, whatever it is, your, your dead relatives, whatever it is that uh, UFOs, ghosts, whatever, it doesn't matter because the fallen angels are not like the, like our media portrays them to be, like they have these big angelic wings. They're actually, uh, they look human, they're just what would appear like ascended masters. And not only that, do they have the ability to masquerade themselves as angels of light. So they have the ability to come to us and look all beautiful and wise and benevolent and full of knowledge and these are demons okay these are not angelic beings and okay so we need to look at this new packaged way of deceiving humanity uh, you truly just pray about the the spiritual state that you're in because uh, in regards to this uh, symptoms of shifting of consciousness it's a lie okay so if this is happening to you please stop you want to stop isn't it horrible I turned to Jesus Christ and the symptoms went away okay when I became a born-again Christian there is no symptoms the symptoms are a sign that you're 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 walking on on spiritual it's, you're walking to spiritual death and your 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 entire being is is bugging out because it's trying to warn you there is none of this in Jesus Christ. Now I know that stuff's really heavy. I know that there's a lot there for you guys to take <laughs> take away from in this video and that it wasn't just a simple, oh, there's a ring in your ears, there's a ghost nearby, which is basically all I thought when I started to research this. I think that we need to always look at the other side of things because in my videos, I'm not giving you an absolute. I give you my opinion and what I believe, but I'm not going to gear my videos towards one way or another. I want to give you the information and I want you to leave this video with you deciding what you think and believe. Please comment below and let me know what it is you believe. Do you believe in the new age way they look at it? That there is this ascend ascending symptoms happening and there's a shift? from the third and fourth dimension, that the ringing in the ears are from a guide or higher self? Have you had an experience of this? Have you had the experience of the ringing in the ears? Or worse, have you had the howling in your ears? That sounds terrifying to me. I wish never that to be on anybody. 
let alone myself. I thought I was just going to get a bunch of information about just ghosts nearby. Which it is. It is that. There is a presence nearby. But that I didn't realize that there were so many other aspects to it. And I didn't know about the howling. I also didn't think about the alien aspect as well. So I thought that was very interesting. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video. I'm still really, really trying to work on the 30 day challenge to do a video every day. I know I uploaded my Zozo video early that you enjoy this video now and that you will stay tuned to check out my next video where I will get into some other nice, I'll get into some more paranormal, new age, creepy stuff. And this thing, and what I want to get into next is yoga. And I'm kind of want to ask you this before I start the video on that, is what do you think about yoga? Have you ever thought of it being dangerous? Have you ever thought of it being connected to demonic possession? I never did. So I hope that you'll stay tuned and check out that video and give me some feedback on what you believe and what you think and what you thought of the video. And I hope that you enjoy and my light is still flickering and going crazy and I don't know if it's a technical glitch or like you can see I'm kind of flashing here. If it's a technical glitch or if there's something going on that's maybe trying to communicate with me. Which when I do these videos, I do find it is often that I have things happen. And I think that a lot of people, when they do these types of videos, say the same thing happens to them as well. But I'm not scared right now. There's no sense of fear here. If it is something here, it is not something that I think is of a lower vibrational energy. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for watching my video. Leave your comments below. Please hit subscribe and check out my next videos that are to come. And I hope you enjoyed. Mwah.